read the title, then you are here because you are trying to lose a similar amount of weight that I lost while eating whatever you want. And how did I do that? This is not clickbait, y'all. I really was able to lose 30 pounds eating whatever I want. And I'm still on this weight loss journey with you. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button. Because we're on a fast track to health, y'all. If you're a little bit familiar with like weight loss in general, like the main concept, of course, is consume less calories than your body needs to actually uh, function and commit the task that it needs to commit. And then you will actually start to lose weight. Then the main concept of like losing body fat is to consume less calories while upping your protein and then you'll lose body fat and maintain muscle and then on top of that if you are training those muscles by like resistance training eating less calories and eating more protein you'll be able to build muscle while losing weight instead of using diets like keto or a vegan diet. I didn't necessarily cut anything out of my diet. I incorporated fasting. There are a lot of different fasting methods that you can use. Mine is considered intermittent fasting, but it's a very specific type of intermittent fasting. So I use alternate day fasting and it's as simple as it sounds. I eat one day, fast the next, eat one day, fast the next. The type of alternate day fasting that I did was a complete water fast on fast days and on feast days, I was able to eat whatever I want from the time I woke up um, until I was getting ready to go to bed. Sometimes people do very specific alternate day fasting where they will water fast on their fast days and then they will only do OMAD, which is one meal a day on their feast days. Sometimes people to ease themselves in will give themselves grace and give them up to give themselves up to 500 calories on their fast days. I find it easier to just completely go without food on the fast days because it takes your mind off of it altogether and it makes it easier for you to complete that day. So while I did say that I was able to eat whatever I wanted, you still want to be mindful and take those feast days to rebuild your relationship with food. One of the main things that I did, if I was having a craving, then I, I did allow myself to have it. But then I tried to balance that out with what else I was going to be eating, making sure I got my vegetables and fruits. Um, I was very mindful of like what I was trying to put in my body on my feast days because I knew that I was cutting out half of the days in the week of when I will be eating. What I love about ADF is because it's like foolproof, like you are definitely going to get less calories in. Now the thing that you have to be mindful of is what type of calories you're going to be putting in on your feast day, the quality of that food, how you want to treat your body, how hard you're going to make it on yourself on your next fast day because of course based off of what you eat on your feast day will affect how you feel on your next fast day or upcoming fast days. I have been an extended faster for a couple of years now. I've done 10 day fast, 11 day fast, 14 day fast. 14 is currently my PR in fasting. But one thing I love about ADF is that you can simultaneously experience the benefits of fasting and also, like I said, rebuilding that relationship with food. One of the problems with extended fasting is that, yes, you're fasting and you're getting the benefits of fasting and you're able to go this long stretch of time. But then as soon as you off, you're in the same position that you were before. If you didn't properly prep, you could fall right back into old habits, you know, that you have before. And I know I've experienced that in the past. Whereas with ADF, it's like you can tackle this thing every single, well, every other day that you have an opportunity to eat to try to like talk to yourself, figure out why you go to certain foods or you know your cravings and kind of when you fall into those habits and then you have your fast days before and right after to understand that i was able to make it through a similar moment like this without running to food if you have that emotional relationship and ties with food okay so with that being said y'all the real reason why i'm coming on here today to talk to you is because like i said i have lost 30 pounds using the alternate day fasting method so I have a plan to get the remaining 30 to 28 pounds off 
with you by starting January off with a banger, an extended fast. If y'all ready to do this with me, then we can do it together. This gonna be our January challenge. I know a lot of people gonna be making New Year's resolutions. I don't know if y'all still enjoying that holiday food or not, but if you are, go make your last plate right now. Come back to this video and we about to get started, y'all. So first things first, I am definitely not registered doctor, nutritionist, or anything. So this is going to be my experience. And I'm recording to give you encouragement, motivation. And if you decide that that's what you want to do, and you make that decision for yourself, then we can do this together. What I'm going to be doing is taking the remaining of these days, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, to just kind of like prep my body and get ready for January 1st. And what I mean by prep is just taking it easy on your body, you know, not binging or eating a lot of fried food, chips, and like just kind of take it easy, eat whole foods, things that actually grow from the earth, get your vegetables in, fruits in, um, and just kind of prepare your mind for this fast that we're about to embark on. I want to extend two type of challenges for my fasties who are watching this. The first one is going to be a 10 day water fast from January 1st to January 10th. And then the second one is going to be alternate day fasting for the entire month of January. I'm going to be a part of the 10 day water fast at the beginning and I will be jumping into the alternate day fasting. I do want to give y'all a little heads up that I'm going on vacation on the 16th for a week. So I'm trying to decide how I'm going to like fit that into our January fasting challenge. But I will be uploading to encourage you and to motivate you all throughout the month of January. So like I said, if you not subscribed to this channel, you definitely need to hit that subscribe button right now. Like requirements in this challenge, just that we will all be in the comment section below if you're gonna join this challenge with me so that we can like be a community of support for one another and help build each other up, keep each other going, pushing. Cause some days it get hard. If you've ever fasted before, you know, even if you're a veteran faster or if you new at this thing, we all struggle some days with fasting. Some days are much easier than others and so i would like for the comment section below to be our little support community and we can come back to videos and on my new videos we can just show that love to one another i'm super excited i have never done anything like this before as far as like getting you all involved i've just always was sharing my story which i'm still doing that in a way but I'm super excited. So if you are going to participate or if you're thinking about participating in this January fast with me, make sure you let me know in the comment section below because y'all definitely continue to motivate me to stay on this journey. Because a lot of times like this channel really has been a motivating factor for me to keep going and keep pushing. Like I said, it's not always easy to fast, to keep your mind in the right frame of mind because you know how it can be. You can be your own worst critic. And so a lot of times when I come on here and I read the comments and I read your words of encouragement, um, it just really helped me to keep going and to keep pushing and to be that diligent, persevering person that I always want to be. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to let me know, y'all. If you're doing it with me, hit the like button and then comment in the comment section below which one of the fasts you're going to do. So if you're going to do the 10-day water fast, you can comment at number one. If you're going to do the alternate day fasting for the entire month of January, you can put the number two. And if you're going to do a hybrid of both, you're going to start off doing the 10-day water fast and then continue the rest of the month with the alternate day fasting, then you can hit it with a number three. Thank y'all so much for watching.